Welcome to the Ignite Podcast. It, it matters to the patient. I think that's the obvious one. I think what a lot of marketers or practice managers or doctors don't realize is that it matters to the algorithms as well. So if you want to show up in that map pack, when I pull out my cell phone and I search cardiologist near me, you better have some consistent okay. effort to drive reviews. Every industry is going to have their industry specific networks as well. So if you are a psychologist, um, you better be on psychology.com on their listings because that is one of the top results. Oh, okay. Organic reviews are going to gen be generated in two ways. Either someone is really upset with their experience and they're going to go tell everyone that they know, including the internet, that they were unhappy with it. Or in rare cases, they feel so passionately about what the doctor or provider or group did to help them that they'll go talk about it. That's that's more rare. It's it's about getting in front of the patient within a reasonable time after their appointment. And we've all been there after our dentist appointment. If I have that text on my phone as I'm walking out of the building when my appointment is over that says, how would you rate us one through five? And it takes me three seconds to answer. Why would I not do it? If you build your entire local presence around a provider who could walk out the door tomorrow, right. then you're going to lose it the second that they, and they're going to take right. it with them. So just think right. about the balance between your office and the thing that you will retain regardless of the provider. And then think about if the provider can add value to what you're already doing.